Hey, today we're going to talk about antennas, antenna cables, and having the proper antenna, the proper placement, and the proper installation of your antenna and coax cable for your two-way radio. Now, this is really important because this will make or break the system. There's a few little tips, a few little tricks that will improve the performance of your system dramatically. So, let's go over a couple things. First off, having the right antenna. There's some antennas that have on the bottom of the antenna, I call them a pull tab antenna. There's a little tab on the bottom that every time that you take the antenna off, you have to flip the antenna over, pull the tab, and then screw it back down. That's really important. If you don't pull that tab, it's already bent up to the top. When you put it back down, it won't seat to the mount. So what happens is you'll notice you don't have any range. You key the push to talk on your two-way radio system and it only gets out a short distance. It gets out maybe a mile when it's a 50 watt radio and it should get out 20 miles. So a couple little things. Take your antenna off and check out what type of antenna you have. So there's a pull tab antenna. We sell an antenna with a spring loaded pin. So you know what? You never need to worry about this. So if you've got a pull tab antenna, hey, every time you take that base off, you unscrew it, you bend the tab down and you screw the thing back down. Make sure that that's seated. So that's Tip number one. Tip number two. This is such a common mistake that everybody does. If you have any extra coax cable, people coil it up in a big old circle and put a zip tie around it. That creates a coil. It just kills the range. So if you have any extra cable and you can't cut the connector, the cable down to the proper length and put a new connector on it, then route it further around in the car. So take that cable, route it further around the car so you don't have any coil loop with a zip tie around it. Just remember, please do not do that. Every time we go to events, that's what we do in our free testing and tuning. We take that coil out, we cut the cable to length, and we install a new connector. What you can also do, cut your cable to length, you can send in the cable to us, we will install a new connector for you. Hey, our installation on those is always free, just got to pay for shipping going back to you. So we'd be more than happy to help you out. So. That's tip number two. Tip number three, hey, have the proper antenna. There's different types of antennas. There's half wave, no ground planes antennas. There's quarter wave antennas. There's five eighths wave antennas. There's all kinds of different things. Primarily what we sell is a half wave antenna. What that does, that works on just about anywhere. You can put it on a metal roof. You can put it on a roll bar tab. Reason why I'm getting to this, there's something called ground plane. So ground plane is a big metal area around the antenna. Certain antennas like a 5 8 wave or quarter wave requires a ground plane. So when we use a half wave, no ground plane, you can mount it just about anywhere. Those things work really, really good for most applications. You're going to put the thing on, it's going to work. But if you don't have a metal roof, say you have a plaster roof or something else, we also offer all these antenna mounting solutions. So we have vertical, horizontal, we have different mounts to easily let you mount your antenna to a roll bar or someplace else on the car. Hey, what I recommend sometimes is even mounting a little bit lower in the car because hey, if you're going underneath brush or hey, on a race car, on an off road race car, if you happen to roll the car over, I don't want to break the antenna off. So sometimes I mount them with one of our bar mount solutions a little bit lower inside the car to help protect the antenna. So. What you can do is this. We also have with our bar mounts, we have a half clamp design, so they're really easy to mount, and we make them in different sizes. We have them in inch tubing, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, and two inch. So depending on what type of car you have, we have the solution that'll easily mount your antenna directly to a roll bar, or, uh, vertical or horizontal. So mounting solutions, go online, take a look at all of our mounting solutions. But just remember, if you got a metal roof, best place right on the very top. Hey, and if you ever have any question about where to mount your antenna, give us a call. One other thing, when you're routing the coax cable, hey, make sure that you route that coax cable away from any other cables. Definitely away from power or definitely away from your intercom cables. So when you're routing your coax cable to your mobile radio, just make sure you route it away from everybody else. That just helps shielding, RF interference, and things like that. One other thing that I've seen lately is on some of the high, the trophy trucks and other race cars, hey, they have a roof, then they have a subroof. What that is is this. They have a nice carbon fiber roof on the top, then they have a metal roof underneath. But one thing is this. So you're, they're mounting the antenna to the metal roof, but the carbon fiber roof is above it. Hey, that creates sometimes a big problem because sometimes if that carbon fiber roof is touching the antenna, it'll short it out. You won't get any range. So if you've got a subroof, it's not really the best solution to mount it. I like to get them up on top of the roof. 
When you're dialing in and tuning your antenna, there's a little cut chart that's on the antenna. Hey, we cut our antennas before. When, you, when we sell them, we cut all of our antennas to a really general length that just about everybody's going to use. So on your antenna bag, it has a little cut chart that tells you how long the antenna should be for the frequency that you're transmitting on. So what you can do is this, if you don't know, you can give us a call. Tell us what frequency range you're using, what type of antenna, and we can tell you approximately how to cut the thing down. Now, for also tuning, what you can do, we have something called an SWR meter. What that does is that'll tell you how much wattage you're getting out of the radio, but how much wattage is coming back in because of improper antenna or cable. So what SWR will allow you to do is dial in the antenna. Hey, if you purchase an SWR meter from us, we will be more than happy to walk you through, teach you anything you need to know about tuning your antenna. So this is the one I love because you know what? I personally have made a lot of mistakes doing this. So cut the antenna down to length, put a new connector on it. And when I put the new connector on it, I still left a couple little strands of wire in there that shorted the cable. So. One big thing, take your multimeter, check continuity between the tip of your coax cable and the outer shield. That's really important. What that might also tell you is there's a smash further on down the li uh, a line in the cable. It's, it's smashed somewhere, it's shorted within the cable. If you got that short, it's gonna be grounding uh, your radio. So when you hit the push to talk, it's not getting any range. That's one of the first things we check. So. Also, so connectors have the right crimpers, strippers. We, have, we sell all the parts for you to do this, or you can send it and have us do it. Hey, my guys, they've put on thousands of connectors. They're really, really good at it. And you know what? One other thing, we'd be more than happy to teach you. So if we're out in an event, you need to cut down your cable, you can come over, you can watch us, we'll show you what we do on it. If you're having a problem, you're getting short range, what to do is this, always pick up the phone. Then what we do is we start running through all the different you know, tips that we gave you. So that's one of the biggest things. Our phone number, 888-541-7223. My tech guys are on the line. We'd be more than happy to help you out in any of these situations. And you know what, with Rugged, it doesn't matter who you have, where you got it from, what system you have, we're here to help. So take all of those six tips. Number six tip, that's the most important because it's a rugged service, it's the way we do things. Hey, go to our website, you need anything, ruggedradios.com, we're here to help. Rugged Radios, work, race, play, we're still the authority in communications.